Welcome to a short IUSE introduction to the Eurostat database. You find a shortcut at, from the IUSE homepage. At the front page of Eurostat, you can find a lot of uh, entrances into the database. For example, the most popular the tables, and you can go into, for example, the 2020 indicators. But if uh, you're searching for data not covered by these entrances, you have to check the statistic database. The database in Eurostat is organized through a tree, tree structure. You could uh, access the data by choosing the theme you're interested in, and if you're interested in, for example, a population subject, this could be one of the instances. You could type in a keyword, and for example, if we're going to look at the total fertility rate within EU, we could look for that. Total fertility rate and search. And you'll see that the Eurostat program provides you with some arrows you can, uh, you can uh, use for finding the relevant statistics. The problem is that there's a number of arrows. So sometimes you end in, uh, on tables you're not really interested in. And that's a disadvantage uh, in this in using this database. But uh, we know fertility has something to do with population, so we follow this arrow and this arrow, and it's about demography. And here we have the choose between national and regional data, and we choose the national data, and whoops, we are in a fertility box where we actually have a table. This icon means that we are the final table. And this gives us uh, the table and the result for fertility rates within EU countries. We have the possibility of changing the, the years we want to display or perhaps doing something with the countries involved. In this case, we go into this window, and here we have the possibility of change, changing time, the countries we want to look into, and different kind of indicators relevant of the fertility and population question. If we keep on the total fertility rate, and we'll say we would like to change some of the years shown, we can unselect all and then choose relevant years. Let's pick up the 2002 and update. And then we have only these years. If we want to do something about the, the countries, we pick due. Again, select all, unselect all. And let's say it's in the EU 28, it's a Denmark, I'm from Denmark, and it could be France. And we update that. And now we have actually made our own uh, table based on the Eurostat database. We can download this into a spreadsheet, but you can see we cannot make a chart of it. So if you want to make some kind of a chart, you have to download it and uh, continue working with the numbers, for example, within a spreadsheet. You can print this, but uh, basically this is this. The big advantage uh, of the Eurostat database is that uh, the Eurostat organization keeps a certain table with a fixed link. So, for example, if you keep the link for the total fertility rate table, 
This will be the link you could use, for example, next year. And as long as Eurostat keeps those links, you can always get updated statistics on the subject you have found before and you're interested in. Try it.